The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to question the Premier on the subject of forestry. Uh, so forest harvests are routinely approved a, a long way in advance, uh, uh, sometimes uh, years ahead of the fact. Um, and this is uh, the background to why there's so much public concern at the moment uh, that once the Leahy Review is finally implemented, there still will be years of unsustainable harvests, so to say, in the pipe ahead. So I want to ask the Premier if he will ensure that when Leahy is implemented, all pending harvests will be freshly reviewed and there will be no grandfathering in permitted. The Honourable Premier. Well, thank you. I thank the member for the question. And obviously, when we talk about sustainability of our forests, uh, I, I, I do want to I do want to be clear that our, our foresters are, are, are have been very focused on sustainability. Often, make, they make their livelihood off their land for generations and generations. So, when we talk about sustainable cut, that's been something that uh, has been has been monitored and um, and. Um, um, Controlled, I guess, uh, reviewed uh, for for quite some time in this province. So, uh, I certainly, certainly, going forward, the Leahy report will be implemented. It will take a bit of time, uh, but we all we all know that uh, sustainability of our natural resources it has to be has to be top of mind uh, for all Nova Scotians. The honourable leader of the New Democratic Party in his first supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It was almost a year ago that. Half the members of the advisory committee to the Minister of Lands and Forestry wrote ex expressing their concern that while we are waiting, as we were then as well, for the implementation of the Leahy Review, unsustainable forestry practices were continuing, uh, amounting to what they called, this was their word, uh, a liquidation of the forests. Uh, now, in that letter at that time, the committee called for an immediate moratorium on clear cutting. Uh, in the in-between time until Leahy is implemented. So I, I want to ask the Premier, uh, will he do that? The Honourable Premier. I know the Minister is working with the Minister's Advisory Council. There's, there's all kinds of different cuts that happen in, in the forest. Uh, clear cutting is, is one, uh, one uh, type of cut that happens. Selective cuts happen. Uh, I mean, I, I, won't, uh, I just want to be clear to the member that there are certainly times you may have a diseased stand. You may have. I don't want to. I don't want to anticipate all of the different scenarios that could exist, but there are certainly times when it is in the best interest of the health of the forest that it be cut. So I don't want to make a blanket statement like the the member would like me to stay make, but I do want to. I do want to be clear on this: uh, sustainability of our natural resources always has to be top of mind in government decisions and uh, the minister is working hard with the with the industry uh, and the landowners uh, and environmental groups and the minister's advisory council to make sure that our forests are properly managed in this province the honorable leader of the new democratic party on his final supplementary thank you the, the Leahy review also re recommended that the department ensure as an immediate priority the, the implementation of the Endangered Species Act on Crown lands, including the identification and protection of core habitat uh, for endangered species. And this still has not been done for the mainland moose, and just yesterday, Nature Nova Scotia raised the concern about new forestry activity taking place in Digby County, where some of the last of these moose live. So I do want to ask the Premier, when will the government announce the core no clear cutting habitat for the mainland moose. The Honourable Premier. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. And I, we can get back to the to the member with a specific date. But my understand is that my understanding is that there will be there will be a, a report and some guidance guidance available very shortly on that exact topic.